have a little bit left in my Seasons Glue Book magazine project to glue down. I was going to do the whole thing for you. However, we had a fantastic day long, wintry, thundery, stormy, snow, rain kind of hurricane. <laughs> And I wanted to sit where I could watch that all day. I have a window in here, but it's off to the side. So I can't look out the window and enjoy the weather. So I did most of it at my kitchen table. Plus my kitchen table is a lot bigger than this. And there's a lot of stuff that we collected, Amy and I. So I'm going to do my best in this little space. I have... All of my stuff here in this handy dandy basket tray. The stuff on top here is are things that I still need to glue here, here, and here. This is a spread. So I'll leave that over there. This is miscellaneous. So I'll put that over here for fill in and for stuff for later this is what's going on this page i should say these pages like most people when i do this i kind of get into the zone so i may not talk much i did want to give you an update on the glue blues that i have been dealing with since we're going to be doing glue booking you may see some different glues going on of course i started with scotch create that's everybody's favorite everybody's favorite well i was getting it screamingly cheap on amazon in four packs for about eight nine twelve dollars which brings them to two three four dollars a stick which if you've ever bought Scotch Create glue, you know is a screaming good deal. After using it a lot, and I bought it every time it was on sale, I bought more and I bought more and I bought more. I still have some. That's how much I bought. But I was finding six months, a year out, that my projects were just coming apart as if I'd never glued them. So what I think happened, either A, they changed their formula and it started to suck, or B, I was getting counterfeit Scotch Create glue. Now, they have this little stamp on, but if you've ever seen any of the videos about imposter products, you'll see that the imposter people go to great lengths to make sure everything looks real so that you, you're you duped into buying it and you think you're doing the right thing. And it smells like Scotch Create glue, you know, so maybe, maybe they made a few thousand bad batches and they were selling them you know, just to get rid of them or they changed their formula and it was cheaper so they could sell them at a bargain or I got imposter stuff who knows what happened so I decided that I wasn't gonna keep buying scotch if it was gonna keep sucking so I tried someone recommended Elmer's extra strength it, oh, that was just a waste. It was no better than any other Elmer's glue. It's just the kid stuff that you buy for a quarter or 50 cents at back to school days. It it was junk and I should have known better, but it came from a trusted source. Ugh. So I used all that up because uh, it, it was just too much trouble to send it back. Most recently, uh, one of my subscribers named Gabrielle suggested Bostic, B as in boy, O S as in Sam, T as in Tom, I-K, Bostic. She says it works for her. She's never had any problem with it and highly recommended it. And I threw it in my cart on Amazon. Uh, but it's a regular size. It's the size of chapstick, where I'm used to using Scotch Create glue. And if you've ever used chapstick, you know that this is quite a bit bigger. <laughs> and for me, those little glue sticks, number one, it feels like a really long time Oh, uh, to get glue on your th surface because it's such a small piece of glue stick. I like the bigger this. 
The other problem with the small sticks is that I feel like I'm, I do a page and oh, it's all gone. And I do a page and oh, it's all gone. I go through 12 glue sticks in one glue book and I, I don't like that. So until hopefully I can find Bostick in a larger, right. excuse me, in a larger size so that I can give it a try because she swears by it, which is fantastic. I'm glad you found something that worked for you, Gabrielle. I may just have to buy it for my Geico Gecko glue book because the the sticks are blue with a cute little gecko on it. So I may just have to get it, A, to try it, B, because I promised Gabrielle I would try it, and C, because it's a Geico Gecko glue book and it should be glued together with gecko glue. <laughs> Say that ten times fast. A long while back, Jean Bainey and I were talking and she said she loves her Avery glue stick. She said, this was a while back, she said, I get at my Dollar Tree. I love it. So I ran to Dollar Tree and we don't have Avery glue. We use, we sell Jot, J-O-T, which is the Dollar Tree brand. No such Avery glue around. But I finally got around to ordering it and I ordered a six pack, uh, maybe eight pack of the white glue stick. And nowhere on here does it say permanent. Nowhere. It says it on, on the ad, the listing, but it doesn't say it anywhere on the package. In fact, it says washable. <laughs> so I don't know. That means water soluble. That means it's easy to clean up. Does that mean it's not permanent? I don't know. So I got a six pack of each, I guess. Washable, acid-free, non-toxic. And acid-free, photo safe. Dries clear. Nowhere on here does it say that it's permanent, but both ads for the purple and the regular say that it is permanent, so we'll see. Fun fact, every, all six of these in this sealed pack, every one of them is cracked. See that right there? Goes all the way through. You can see light through it. That will dry out a glue stick pretty fucking fast, don't you think? All six of them. Now the regular, I thought, well, maybe, you know, maybe it's a thing. Maybe you have, maybe it has to breathe. You know, you talk yourself into some stupid shite. Uh, none of the the white ones have that at all. So I was, I also, in, in the interim, I ordered a 12, 12 pack, I think, of more glue stick. This size said it's permanent, washable, acid-free, all that happy crap. And it was okay. I talked about it in detail in another video. If I can remember which one, I'll link it below. I didn't like the way it worked. It was very hard and yet it melted over on itself, so it was always kind of drooping, and I didn't like that at all. So that's when I ordered, I sent the more back, because that was $20 for that 12 pack. I sent that back, and I got a six pack of this, a six pack of this, and three of these even larger Faber-Castell. And I've been using all three. Uh, Jean Bainey was right, I quite like the Avery. Uh, before I tried this, I thought it was the closest to scotch. It's not scotch, but it's close in the way that it applies to the paper. It's not sticky. It doesn't drag. The purples are always soft. And they you can get clumps and lumps. And you either have to deal with clumps and lumps under your images or take the time to smooth them out somehow. I don't like that. I don't like taking extra time for stuff like that. So this was pretty good. This was as close to the Scotch Create as I could get. But then I tried this for the first time a couple of days ago. This also is washable. Been around since 1761, this company. It's water-based glue stick. I don't know if it's 40, if, if it's uh, permanent or not. But at this point, none of these say that on the, the bottle, so I don't know. Where this one does, it says right here, permanent. 
Well, I don't know if you're paying attention. You can't even get this anymore. <laughs> There's a big Scotch Create glue kerfuffle. And don't you know, Pam at the Paper Outpost is all over it. She wrote to Scotch, and I'm sure she must have said this to her viewers. Because <laughs> I went to Scotch brand to see if they discontinued it because you can't get it anywhere unless you go to Joann's where they have their own you know stock that they've had for a while and you pay nine dollars for it uh, you got to be careful on Amazon you can find scotch create but it's repositionable and nobody wants post-it stuff we don't want to stick it down just to take it up again in 10 minutes we want this shit to stick so I went to Scotch Create, which is made by 3M. Anyway, I went to 3M, and there's a whole bunch of letters. Is this discontinued? Is this discontinued? Well, someone said, you can at least answer Pam's question on the 3M website. There's a there's a YouTube crafter junk journal kerfuffle going on. Oh, my God. The crafters can't get Scotch Create. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you answer Pam? It's like, the, I, I just keep picturing the... The mad people at the end of Frankenstein running through the streets with torches lit and they're gonna they're gonna storm the doors of 3M and say, Why didn't you answer Pam's question? Why can't we get Scotch Create glue? Oh, for fuck's sake. Anyway, they may be going back to the old the original recipe. They may be discontinuing it. They may be changing the packaging. Who knows? But don't you know, we're right in the middle of it. In the, so, in the meantime, I'm still using the crappy stuff that I have. And I don't know, some of it I bought full price and some of it I bought at regular price. And so, I don't know which is which anymore. So, I've been using this here and there. So, today, I don't know, I'm just going to use probably this because... Because... So that that is my my glue blues update. It's just turned into such a thing and I just think it's hilarious. See did I miss any? I tried Elmer's that sucked more. I sent that back. Got purple sky. Oh, I did try one more. Scotch brand has a purple glue. It comes in a I was so wanting to like it because it's got a purple label and it's just beautiful. But it was no different than this than this purple this is not that much different than elmer's purple so if you're wanting to use the purple stuff oh, elmer's is just as good although i see jean baney's using this a lot uh, maybe it is it might be a notch or two improvement over the elmer's version hilarious glue blues oh my god crafters are all up in arms okay so I have this laid out, and I'm just going to glue things where they are, because I like it. I like where things are. Okay, I'm not going to use that one. It's a brand new one. I'll use this one, because it's one I've been using. So, see how fast she changes her mind? Get that out of the way. I'm going to put these right where they need to go. And because this is already laid out, I could probably chit-chat through this a little bit. Through this, using the same images, open collaboration that Amy and I have been doing. Uh, and if you're new, welcome. Sorry for the rant, but they happen here a lot. So if you're still here, good for you. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Uh, hashtag using the same images is an open collaboration between Amy at Doki Doki Forest and myself. Uh, we went through two spring magazines recently. You can see those videos on our, I will link the harvest videos below. And we decide together, we have, we each have the same magazine and we decide together which magazine, which image we're going to use. And then once we've harvested together, then we go our separate ways and glue them down however we see fit. Then we come back and sort of compare notes and do videos. Here's how I use those same images. How did you use the same images? And one of the things that I notice, differences in style between Amy and I, is she cuts up her images a lot. And 
I notice I don't. I don't cut up my images very much at all. For example, she might cut out this whole vase and use the window someplace else. She may separate those things. I do not. I don't cut things apart very much. And I've been wondering why. You know, I my, my brain always wants to know why. Well, how come? Well, why? Why? Why don't you do that? And what I've come to understand about myself is that I come from an advertising marketing background. That was before I went to cosmetology school to learn to be a hairdresser and a nail tech. And before I went back to college and became a college English professor, before I was a writer and reporter, all of that, before that, I was in marketing and advertising for a long time. I'm 108 years old that's how that works and I know what goes into these spreads and these layouts and for the most part when I cut out something like this it's because I like the whole thing I like the whole thing so why would I tear it up <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to me to tear it up something that I like if I don't like it sure I'll tear it up and do things a little bit differently. Not saying that the way Amy does it doesn't make sense. That's, that's not what I mean at all. It's just that that's not how my brain wants to put these things together. That's one of the bigger differences I've noticed in how we do things. We do, like the last time I think we had, I think she pointed out two or three places where we used the, the same image on the front page or the same image next to another same image but it's very rare and that's one of the reasons we decided to do this is because it's so much fun if we all if every one of us had it had the same magazine and we cut out the same hundred images and we all went on our separate ways to glue them together every single one of us would do it differently because our brain organizes things differently from everybody else. We like different things. Like I like color themes. I like subject themes. I like clean spaces. I like open areas. I know I've heard Amy say several times that she tries to cover up the entire notebook. She doesn't want to see anything, any of this. She wants everything covered and she'll take small pieces and cover up pieces of notebook that she may still see. I am not like that. I don't mind the open spaces on, on the notebooks. I find when I'm doing glue books in books where there's a lot of text or if I'm using a magazine as a glue book back, that all needs to be covered up. But a plain composition paper, I, it doesn't bother me at all. So it's different for me from backing to backing. If it's a composition book, I don't mind at all the, the blank spaces. But if it's something else, well, that would drive me bananas. So I cover it in. Usually I use a glue pad for this because usually I glue a lot more thoroughly, but because I'm doing this on camera and I don't want it to take all bloody night, I'm doing it rather quickly. And I remember Jean Bainey making a comment. She said she, and, and I've watched her, if you watch her glue, she's doing her Anything Goes book and her Chunky Junky where she's just, she's like just a hurricane of grabbing glue and grabbing glue and grabbing glue and putting it down. And sometimes when I'm watching, I'm thinking, did her glue stick even touch the back of that piece of paper? And in comments, she and I have had these conversations where she says, oh yeah, when I go and sit down to flip through one of my books or revisit one of my glue books, I sit down with a glue stick in my hand because 
I know I don't glue very well. I'm, I'm, I'm too fast. I'm too busy putting stuff down to worry about how well it's glued or something to that effect. And I thought, man, that would drive me bananas. If every time I looked at a book, I had to re-glue stuff. That's why I got so upset with Scotch Create Glue. I don't want to do things twice or three times or ten times. I want to do it and I want to have it done right the first way. I just got I just made a mess. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Washable. Good thing. I made a mess. That'll probably make it worse. Ugh. Okay, so what's next? Another thing that uh, is different between Amy and I with this particular project is I noticed as she was going along, she was gluing pages together. And I have not. I've not glued any pages together. I figure with this magazine image, this notebook image, and another bunch of magazine images, it's, uh, it's good and thick. <laughs> what I do when I have a whole pile of stuff to do what I have been doing with this project is as I'm cutting it out, I go through in my head and I try and figure out how I want to put it together. Do I want to put all the blue stuff together? Do I want to put all the windows together? Do I want to put all the peonies together? What do I want to do? How do I want to do it? And I just let my brain kind of take it over a little bit. And this time around, because we have, we have the magazines that we harvested together, but we also, again, did digitals, which I'll show you here. We already have the magazines for summer. We have two magazines for summer, so we're all set there. But here are all the digitals, the strips, the borders. They're in piles of how I think I want them to go. And we decided that we would do the digitals separate from the magazine pictures so that the people who are playing along by getting the free digitals on our Patreon page, there's a link below for that, uh, so that they're not all commingled magazines and digitals because not everybody has the magazines or not everybody gets the digital. So we're separating it. However, I cut them all out at the same time. <laughs> and so for days, my brain has been connecting, oh, those purple lilacs would go great with this, but this is a magazine and that's a digital. And so I've been having to separate it mentally causing myself a great deal of harm. That turned out okay. Once it dried, it's not too bad. It didn't, it got that smudge off and my dirty thumbprint. So the next spread is my favorite. I should say my second favorite. This one is my favorite. Go figure. But this one are all of our cocktails. Mimosas that look like carrots. Yes, please. Now, I don't want this to take up more than one page, so I'm gonna have to figure out. We have the recipe for the mimosas. Here I changed it, it says it serves six. I changed it to two, cause, cause really, they're not very big servings. So I wanna keep the recipe, but I don't need that giant extra piece up there. It can just be a little bit, and it can cover that up. And I don't need all this extra blue. And I've been trying to think of, or maybe I'll leave the blue, I don't know. By the way, down here is a little fun fact. Did you know more than 100,000 mint, 100,000 mint juleps are served over the Kentucky Derby weekend at Churchill Downs Racetrack? That's a place I wanna go play. I like that calm and it points to the mint vodka martini. I think that's pretty cool. Heckin' good. I think it might go there pretty well. Feel happier. I could put that there. It'll probably be a flip up though, because I like the recipes. That's why I left them. I am going to cut this off though. I want to put feel happier here, but then it covers up my carrots. And it's important to see the carrots because that's the whole point. I 
so happier. I want to keep the brand of the champagne there. Hello, happier. <laughs> We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So here are two more. I'm going to put the Di Did You Know back down there at the bottom. Mint julep with a sugar rim. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Boozin' bourbon shake. Oh, oh, yeah. Happier happy hours. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good. I could put those there. You can still see that that's a carrot. And these will be lipped ups. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Out my glue pad because this is smaller stuff. See the clumps because it's so soft. The white stuff doesn't do that. Scotch doesn't do that. So far, the Faber Castell doesn't do that. I trimmed this up a little bit so that more of my carrots show. Whoops. <laughs> I haven't even had one. <laughs> Sugar. Some teeny tiny little horseshoes. Teeny tiny. They're at the bottom of that hello. Using them. I want to use it to draw attention to this. Did you know? Okay. That was easy. The corners are sticking up. I just give them a little trim. Makes the book look like it's n neater done than it is. <laughs> it's a hack, I think is what they call that. All right. There's my drinks page. So I've got my little princess here. And I was thinking, I just want her on her own. Him, whatever. I just think he's wonderful. Treat your BFF. Pets enjoy a little change up now and then. Two, let your dog lead you on a new walking route and sniff to their heart's content. Or introduce a new toy to their routine. They get bored just like we do, and we need new toys, get them new toys. If your Beastly is chewing on things, he's bored, he's lonesome, it's not his fault. So I left out all these pink things. Some pink, oh, what are those called? They taste like licorice. Spring clean, it's pink, that's why I kept it, but... Spring it like vibrant. You know, like <laughs> talking like so many people talk. I don't I don't know what you're saying. What are you what are you saying? I don't know what you're saying. Uh I was gonna set her or him up on the cake, but he kinda gets lost in the cake, and I don't want that. And I want him there. Spring it like vibrant little candies for them. The cake. What else do I have here? April. Hmm. <laughs> oh. This might be all she wrote for these pages. I don't know. We're going to do... I'm going to skip ahead to what we're going to do. Because I have this whole pile. These are color coordinated. And they're all about spring cleaning. There's a theme. So I'm going to take my trim pieces out. Oh, 
celebrate the butterfly effect. That goes with my beastly there. So I'm going to take these pieces out. And the trim and the words can go over there. Spring cleaning, spring cleaning. A little spring cleaning QR code. Cute. Cute little bucket. Clean. Dirty dishes. Oh boy. Fresh open window. Ugh, I'm going to leave that over there for now. I like this dish it out a lot. And here's some more dishes. Can I cover that? Oh, I can. Oh, it's just right. It just fits. There's our house. Our open window, dirty dishes, that can go there, that can go there, no, right there, fabric advice, we're going to cover that up, do I need all the cleaning, shiny happy home, there's bubbles over on this side, purple bubbles, so I'm going to put these teal bubbles over on this side. Create a healthier home. Little clouds on there. Those are kind of cool. I'm going to cut those off. And I'm going to cut that down a little bit. So it's less to have to find room for. Maybe just there. These little clouds can go there. I don't like that little half a knowledge bit there, so I'm going to cover that up. So, there's that one. Clean. Okay, so here we go. I bet we have the dish it out and the dirty dishes together. I bet we do that the same. And the rubber glove, maybe, maybe not. Maybe she put all the yellow together. So I think I said this in the last one. I always start with my big images. The biggest things that I have go down on the bottom. And then the medium size. And then the words. And then the small bits. At least when I'm planning it out. They might not get glued in that order. But that's how I plan out the pages. See when it curls up like that. That means there's a lot of water in here and as I'm doing it on, as I'm gluing on these pages, if I put a lot of glue on, it it uh, smears the lines because it's a cheap notebook and the ink is cheap and so it smears the lines. That's how much moisture slash water is in this stuff. Ah, just put it down. So that brings us back to this beautiful little beastly. And I have, I was going to put the rubber ducks with all the cleaning stuff, but as you see, I ran myself out of room. So I have these beautiful ducks. A whole bunch of water left over.
Holy smack, that took way longer than I expected it to. But it's done. I have a couple of these little bits and pieces, but they really weren't part of our harvest. They were and they weren't. They were extras, so I'm not going to worry about those. So here's what I did with the front cover. I used it on my front cover, Bring On, and Pretty Little Daisies. Spring. Oh, the little, the I already had the daisy, but I added the daisy to the G. And I, so I left myself a tiny bit of room for summer. I, I didn't do anything on the back for spring yet, but I, I will find something. This wasn't part of our harvest. I just went into a winter magazine and grabbed something that had snow and pines and lanterns and Christmas and, and put it on here, but that was not part of our harvest. So here's what I did with our spring magazine pictures. Here's where we start the end of winter. My Beastly's page, there's a little happy Beastly here. And it says my yay list. Just real tiny. My yay list. And then little woohoo, you know. Giving your best friend their best life close to home. And this is that story about aging pets. I did not want to cut them up. And so I left them intact. Beastlies are my sanctuary. And I just made a little tuck spot with the top of that Beastlies head so that we could see everybody. I was going to use this page for another winter or something. I left it blank because I needed a two-page spread for my St. Patty's Day. But it worked out. The dogs only needed the one spread because we didn't have very many. So here we go with the spring pictures now again i like i like everything here i did not want to cut it apart let's easter together i love that they're cracking through the candy shell i love that there's easter eggs here and a lavender field i mean i just love everything about it so i'm not going to cut it up m m's for all fun kind it's perfect i'm not going to cut it up i had a couple extra m m's i added there a little fun and creative Easter basket QR code and another little yay there love this picture I love all the blue and all the little robin's eggs in the little nests it had something here and I covered that up I think maybe it didn't I don't remember now He's blue, so he goes here. I was going to put all my ducks with the spring cleaning stuff, but I ran myself out of room. I had this here just because, but I really don't like that it throws off the whole color scheme. He matches better, and he needed a home, so I put him in after the fact. fun candies. Again, I love this picture. I, I see no reason to cut it up, so I didn't. This is part of something else. It's part of this tablecloth that I cut off and put over here. I'm not sure if this might have been on the back of something we cut out, but I kept him. But Amy might not have him. I took my fancy scissors and kind of made postage stamps out of those couple of those little guys. I just gave them a funny little edge. Put a little piece of border here. Shiny happy home because I, I had that till the end. That was going to go with the spring cleaning stuff too, but ran myself out of room. It's beginning to look like spring beautiful spring colors here on the corners i love that more of that tablecloth i love that these are yum yum yummy looking i wanted to put an, an easter egg on each page but i gave up on that idea 
in our harvest we decided that these look like meat raw meat marbled meat <laughs> And so all I can think of was get away from me with your meat butterflies. Just go. Just take your butterflies and be gone. So that was fun. Purples. One of the purples has had a purple flower over here, so I moved it. Deviled soldiers. Soft boiled eggs with deviled soldiers. I wonder what what they mean by deviled soldiers. Janet, if you know, shout it out. <laughs> really pretty. These I liked, just the color scheme again with the spring colors from the Starbucks ad. I did not make postage stamps out of these little guys. I just cut them straight. Landed that beautiful blue, it almost glows butterfly on the blue eggs. Pink. Dig into spring. Improve indoor air quality. Open the windows. That's one of the best parts of spring is fresh air, finally. Beautiful peonies. Fun little QR codes. I, could, I wanted these to go with my little dog later on, but everywhere I put them, it looked like dog poop. Pink dog poop, so... I had to find a new home for it. I have to hit that with some glue. It will drive me crazy. Again, I wanted to keep the recipes, so I did. There's my beautiful, my beautiful butterfly. I wanted her to have those pink and white candies, but if I put them over here, it looked like dog poop. If I put them over here, it looked like dog poop. So we, we left that idea behind. I wanted her to stand out, or him to stand out in a big way, but just didn't work out. Although the pink against that green works pretty well. This was the last page. It was like, uh, what do I do with the rest of this stuff? So natural feel in April. It just is. It makes no sense, and it's fine. Spring cleaning theme. If you go back and you look to when I was gluing this, this looks like a long, hairy, green arm <laughs> inside that glove. So I had to cover it up. And, and disguise it so it didn't look like a big gorilla arm with a yellow glove on it washing dishes. Another little creative QR code. And that is it. That is all she wrote. Now that took, I spent most of the day, one day, in a good hour and a half doing these last few pages. So we speed these things up a lot. We cut out a lot. And so when you sit down to glue book, don't think it something like this. You know, when you've got, we had, we had a hundred images or better. Don't think that you can sit down and do it in an hour like we do on the video. Because that's not how it works. We fast forward it. We cut stuff out. We take breaks. We take day long breaks. I did some yesterday and some today and some the day before. So it takes as long as it takes. Don't feel like you have to rush through it. And don't feel like because we do it fast, it's just a trick of the camera. We don't do it fast. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you play along with the digital version. Uh, there are four pages plus a bonus page on my Patreon page for free. You don't have to be a paid Patreon. You just have to go... You click the link below, it takes you to my Patreon page, it, you find Spring Digital Images, there's a PDF, you click on that and hit download. No credit cards necessary, it's free, free, free. Then you can play along with the next batch, which will be uh, a, few, a good few pages, because there's a lot of images there too, 
a good few pages and then hopefully plenty for summer cross your fingers go get the free ones and we'll see you then go love up your beastlies extra treats today because bitsy said so what are you doing on this hair <laughs> you are a funny girl are you cold you got it all situated now, how you like it? Funny. Mate at the lake. Out for now.